Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tweak that may be old to some and new to others, but I think it can be appreciated by all. And that tweak, everyone, is multi-wall. multi-wall works is it allows you to customize each individual home screen on your iDevice. So as you can see here I have a different image on each home screen page on my iPhone. Jumping into the settings for multi-wall you'll see you'll have a few options such as naming the theme as well as adjusting the width of the theme. Now when adjusting the width what will happen is you'll get a panoramic image causing an image to stretch across more than one page of your home screen. I won't be covering that in the video, but I will say that going to the help section will allow you to learn more about this tweak as well as readdress things that I am covering in this video. So how multi-wall works is you have to configure it through iFile per page. To better demonstrate this, let's go ahead and jump into iFile. And what we need to access first is the camera roll. We can do this by going to Mobile, Media, DCIM, and then 100 Apple. Now that we're in our camera roll, the first thing we're going to want to do is bookmark this folder for later reference. You can do that by selecting this book down here in the middle, hitting the plus symbol down here in the right hand corner, and then naming the folder to whatever you so choose. I've already named mine and I entitled it Photos right here. Next, what we're going to do is select the image that we're going to use for our first page. After you have found the image you're going to use, you can preview it by selecting it and then tapping on Image Viewer. This will allow you to see the image that you're going to be using. After you have the image that you want to use, you're then going to hit the blue arrow and you're going to rename it. Now for the first page of Multiwall, you will need to name it Page dot png and select done to save it now keep in mind each image is a page so for whichever image you want for page two you would need to rename it page two dot png and the image for page three you would need to rename page three dot png and so forth and so on so that it looks like this when you're done for all the images you would like now this is just to show you the images that i did choose which are just a, a bunch of different colors that will now be my wallpaper. Next, we need to copy these images into the multi-wall folder. You can do that by selecting edit and then finding the images that you've renamed. And you're going to simply tap on all of them. From here, we're going to select the clipboard down here in the right hand corner. And we're going to copy the link. After that, we're going to go back to the var folder by selecting the home button down here then library write in and then multi-wall then we we're going to select default and we're now in the multi-wall folder so first thing again we're going to want to do is bookmark this for later reference as you can see I've already done that as well and last we're going to select edit then tap the clipboard so that we can paste these images into the multi-wall folder. So we're going to select paste. And you'll get this prompt saying that the file page 2.png exists already and blah blah blah. But that's fine because what we're going to want to do is overwrite all of these. Now what just occurred is that we renamed the files in our camera roll, copied them, and then pasted them into the multi-wall folder. After you have finished that, you're then going to select on done and we're going to respring our device in order for these changes to take effect. After your device has resprung, you should then see the wallpapers on your home screen. So as you can see, I now have the colors in which I set to be my wallpapers as my wallpaper. Now I would like to note that with this tweak, it does disable certain home screen tweaks such as barrel and multi icon mover. Now if you do download this tweak, Feel free to send me your screenshots of the images that you came up with as your home screen wallpapers. By that, I mean the theme that you came up with. And you can send me that on Twitter at TechMeOut. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. 
So that sums everything up. If you found this video helpful or simply want to show your support, please do so by thumbsing it up or sharing it with others, as well as subscribing and following me on Twitter at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.